hello and thank you so much for clicking on my video welcome to my channel lovely moments creating my name is Jenny and as you can tell from the thumbnail I'm going to be working with these tumbling tower blocks I'm going to be creating some rustic ornaments from these tower tumbling blocks now this large one here is from five below and I wanted to show you the difference between the ones from the Dollar Tree and the ones from five below as you can see obviously it is the size and in this pack that I have from the Dollar Tree they also have a darker color and I'll show you that as well I am teaming up today with my dear friend May from craft away with May and we are going to be bringing you some inspiration to create some ornaments using these tower tumbling blocks I'll tell you a little bit more about that shortly I'm going to be using my drill to create a hole in these tumbling tower blocks so that you can hang the ornaments as you can see I just created a hole right at the top of one of them and I did two for this first ornament all I'm going to be doing is gluing these tumbling tower blocks right next to each other and I'm just using some hot glue because I am using the Gorilla Glue Sticks. Now, back to the information about the collab. You know my sweet friend May from Craft The Way With May. We always collab with each other and it's that time again. I'm gonna have her information linked in the description box below so that, so that you will be a click away from some more inspiration. And I'm so excited to see what my dear friend has created. And if you're coming over from her channel, hello and thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoy today's video and when you go visit my friend if you can tell her please that Jenny said hello as you can see I just used some sandpaper to distress this um, little ornament and I have these markers here from the Dollar Tree and I have the red the green and the black marker and I'm just alternating the colors to spell out Noel and then after I get that complete the holes that I drilled on the um, tumbling tower blocks on the end I'm just going to string some jute string through there I'm going through the front and then through the back I'm just going to tie my knots in the front so I'm tying a knot on one side I'm going to cut off the excess and then I'm going to clip off the string on the other side so that I can cut off the other one and cut a knot. I'm going to be um, styling these on this little miniature tree that I have because I do not have my big tree up. And I really love the rustic look of this and I love how the tumbling tower blocks gave this look. It's so rustic and it is so cute and I love the um knots on it from the jute cord now i'm going to be drilling a hole in another pair of these so i'm going in and i have i actually drilled a hole in just one because i'm going to create a little miniature cross so i only needed a hole in the top part for this one just so i can hang it and as you can see i'm just gluing um one of the tower and tumbling blocks to the top and the one to the bottom just um, hot gluing them together in a cross form and then I'm going to use some of that cafe color chalk paint to paint this piece now you can use the darker tumbling tower blocks out of that pack and then you don't have to paint it but I did want to go in with this color just to give it more of a rustic vibe and then I took some sandpaper just just to distress it a little bit after I get that complete, I do have a holiday pick from the Dollar Tree that has some berries on there. And I just clipped off a few pieces um, that I wanted to use so that I can embellish this in the center. And then after I get that complete, I'm just going to tack all of my little pieces down with some hot glue and that's going to be it for that this was really simple but another little cute ornament that, is, that has that rustic vibe and then i'm just going to take some of that jute twine and i'm going to string it through the little hole at the top and then i'm just going to tie a little basic knot to um, tie the string together now I just use some hot glue I usually do that when I'm trying to string something through a hole and I just sort of like roll the cord together and that is it for this one I really love how this turned out Thank you. 
Now for these next two ornaments, I have one of these larger towering tower tumbling blocks and these are the ones from five below and I drilled a hole on each side of these. Now I did do two like this and what I'm doing is going in with some red chalk paint to paint the first one and then I did a second one drilling the holes in the same spot and I'm going to be using this fern color um, green chalk paint to paint the other one. I love how these ornaments turn out. They are so cute. Now I'm going to be pairing these with some of those little miniature fairy um, pieces that you can pick up from the Dollar Tree. They always have cute little fairy miniature um, items and so I pulled out the two little choir people and then these cute little um, stands that I chose and I'm just going to hot glue one of the little choir people with the little books and one stand to each one I thought this was so cute now I, what I'm going to do the reason why I drilled a hole on each side is just because I'm going to string um, some jute cord through those holes so that it can hang and those are actually adorable and I think they're cute um, little Christmas shelf sitters as well if you didn't want to drill the hole and just keep them as is I think they're really cute if you were creating like a little village um, and so all I'm doing is stringing a hole through and I'm going to be tying the knot at the bottom clipping off the excess and I'm going to do that to both of these little ornaments and how adorable did these turn out I think these are really cute to hang on your tree Now for the next one, I did drill a hole in the center of one of the tower tumbling blocks and I originally was going to do four towering blocks glued together, but I only had to attach three. So after I get three um, of the blocks glued together, I'm going to take some red chalk paint to paint this piece. Now I thought this little ornament came out really cute. The Dollar Tree have this pack of little miniature jars with the cork um, top. So I already strung a little piece of jute cord through that hole that I created. And now I'm going to take two of these little miniature jars and I'm just pulling out the little cork top. Um, and then what I'm going to do is just hot glue these two right down to the little sign that I have created. And I just thought this was adorable for a little ornament. And I'm just going to clip off of that holiday pick that I already had. And I'm just going to put some of that greenery inside of these little jars. And then I am going to clip off a few of those little berries as well to add right in the inside. Um, as you can see, this is so cute. Um, really simple, but I thought it would be a cute touch when I get my tree up, which I plan on getting that up after Thanksgiving. That's when I usually put my tree up. So as you can see, I'm just adding a few pieces of the greenery. And I absolutely love this. This was really cute, and I think it turned out absolutely adorable. And don't forget, after watching my video, check the description box below for the link to my friend's channel so that you can be a click away from some more inspiration. Now for the next um, ornament, I am using another one of the larger tumbling blocks and I drilled a hole on each side. I added my jute hanger and I just wanted to use this little um, gnome from the Dollar Tree. It's an ornament and I want it to look like he was sitting on a swing and that was it for this one. I do love how this one turned out. Really simple. All of these ornaments today was really simple and I think they're going to look really cute on my tree. Thank you all so much for tuning in and watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed this video just as much as I did. If so, please remember to give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't already done so, subscribe to my 
channel because I would love to have you here. As always, in the comment section below, let me know which one of these were your favorite. And remember, today's video is in collaboration with my friend May from Craft Away with May. So don't forget to check the description box below for the link to her channel. And if you're coming over from her channel, Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you can do me a favor while visiting my sweet friend, please tell her that Jenny said hello. Happy holidays to you all and stay safe so that I can see you in the next video.